I'm scared to run into the middle of the map just because of all the bouncing bays that this guy has laced everywhere. Oh my, wait, that was a clap. Move your riot shield away, that could have been. Yo, what's going on guys? So it's Wednesday and we all know what that means. That means we need to check the challenges because we have a new set of weekly challenges to complete week seven. Let's have a look to see what we have. Ooh, okay. The Jack Outlaw 277 kit. A quick spoiler, I may have already seen some gameplay of this and it may be one of the most broken things we ever use. So uh, yeah, you guys already know it's a new week, which means we get a new set of weekly challenges and we have to complete five of them in order to unlock the main reward. In this case, the new aftermarket part, the Jack Outlaw. Do it! And that's exactly what we are about to do. So I've got all of the challenges tracked and what we are going to do first is get kills with our marksman rifle we need to get iron sight kills but also kills whilst in tax stance and i think we can do both of those at the same time so let's do that actually i lied it's clean kills as well as tax stance kills so i have no idea what clean kills are but hopefully we can get those done anyway get you those have got to be clean kills, whatever they are. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm very excited for this aftermarket part, of course. But what I cannot stop thinking about is Warzone Mobile. That's literally coming out tomorrow and I cannot wait for it. Bro, I hate snipers. Oh, there's one weekly challenge done. 15 tax stance kills. So now we just need the clean kills. I think the clean kills are getting kills without anyone else getting a bullet into them. So if that's the case, I just need to stay away from my teammates. Oh, there's one. Get your riot shield away. What? He hit me with a throwing knife. I don't know why I'm still in tax stance. <laughs> that's not necessary anymore, Brad. Oh, there we go. Clean kills done. So now we have to get quick scope kills with a marksman rifle. I'm not too sure what that means because how do you get quick scope kills with a marksman rifle? Does that make any sense? I don't know. We'll see. Did any of those count as... Okay, we got one quick scope out of that. I'm literally just going to keep spamming aim down sights and just hoping for the best. I think those are quick scopes. Whoever came up with this challenge, I have a lot of questions. Why would you do that? Okay, was that a quick scope? Oh, there we go. We got the quick scope kills done. Now we need to get clean kills with a battle rifle. And this SOA subverter is a battle rifle. So this part should be pretty easy. Hold up. Wait, why are none of these tracking? Battle. Oh, set to single fire? I'm an idiot. It's a good job I checked that. Oh, okay. It's a good job I checked that when I did. Oh, that has to be it, surely. Okay, now we've got all the clean kills with the battle rifle. So now our final challenge is to get three kills in one magazine five times with a recommended sniper. Unfortunately, the longbow isn't a recommended sniper. So we have to do it with the XRK. There's one. There's two. There's three. Reload, because that should count as one. The game's almost ending. So we need to do this as fast as possible if we want it all done in one game. There's another one I put the iron sights on. There's one more. Bro, the game's so close to ending. No! I think we needed one more. Damn! Tell me that's it, please. There we go. Week seven challenge completed. And that means we have all the week seven challenges done. Get me out of this game. So now if we check the challenges, there we go. Attachment collected. Now we all know what happens now. We cannot get our hopes up until we can actually put on the reward. So let's see if it's here. Conversion kit. Jack Outlaw kit. Thank you. Put it on. Okay, it works. We're good. I'm literally traumatized. This conversion kit transforms the Bass B into a lever action rifle, slowing fire rate, but vastly improving accuracy and deadlier precision. Okay, that's switching it up completely. Look at this thing. What?
Okay, and here it is. I mean, the Bass B just has a terrible inspect anyway, but look at the iron sights. This is so weird. It's a totally different weapon. Wait, can you put an optic on this thing too? Oh, you can. Let's try it with just the iron sights anyway. So I did mention that I had... <laughs> I did mention that I had seen this before. Someone tweeted out... That's hit marker. Bro, you can shoot this so fast. Wait, I just realized how many bullets it has too. Let me reload. 20 bullets is not bad. Get out of here. So I mentioned I already saw a video of this because someone leaked it, but oh my goodness, this is great. It shoots insanely fast and it's pretty powerful. Bear in mind, I haven't got a long barrel on it. I didn't put any barrel on. So this is how it is by default, really. I have got a suppressor on it, but it's the suppressor that doesn't change anything other than making it suppressed. I think if you aim high enough in the body, wait, there we go. Uh. Nothing I can do. Oh. 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 Is this the new longbow? I genuinely think this might be the new longbow. That's hilarious. As if the longbow... Okay, hit marker. Thank you. As if the longbow wasn't already annoying. Now we've got a longbow 2.0. <laughs> I usually try these aftermarket parts in the second half of my video in Warzone. But to be honest, I don't see this being good in Warzone. This is one of those guns that is strictly good for multiplayer. The reason why I say that is, you guys know, the longbow is already in the game. But no one uses it in Warzone. Why is that? Because it's terrible. If you're going to use a sniper or a lever action in Warzone, you kind of want it to guarantee a one-shot kill or at least make them very weak whereas something like this would literally just bounce off of the armor <laughs> these guys are just throwing smokes every oh wait oh i can't see a thing i cannot see a thing bro my teammates are popping off too get hit oh this is so satisfying get you too no nope, not challenging that wait no No, a hit marker, no. Hit marker again. No, there's so many people around me. No. <laughs> we got our full streaks anyway. I'll take that. This is fun. So we have Wazo Mobile dropping tomorrow. Or depending on when you guys are watching this video, it could be today. I am so excited for that. I think I've got everything set up ready for it. I do need to test everything after I've recorded this video. But I've got the iPad. I've got the adapter so that I can connect my controller. Wait. Okay. There we go. I think I'm good. So I'm really excited for that. If you guys could do me a favor, let me know in the comments what map you would want to see first, Verdansk or Rebirth Island. I assume it would be Verdansk. And I think that's what I really want to play first. But if you guys have a different opinion, let me know. There we go. Get you. Let me heal. Get you too. Oh, this is... What? In fact, Warzone Mobile is already out in a lot of places. Oh, okay, great. Can I still get this kill? I can. What? Yeah, a lot of people are already playing Warzone Mobile somehow. I think what you can do is switch your... I can't see! Is switch your region on the App Store to somewhere that has it and then be able to download it. I have to try this with a barrel on it too. Oh, no. This, bro, this is too good. Why do they like lever action so much? Nah, I'm sick of these smoke grenades. Two bouncy betties in the middle of a smoke grenade. Yo, what is wrong with this guy? Man, I'm so glad they add aftermarket parts into the game. I think a lot of people share the same opinion as me and see it as something to look forward to every single week. I think if we didn't have these... Damn! That was disrespectful. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, if we didn't have these weekly challenges to look forward to, I think this game would be extremely boring. We of course have the events and the events are quite often in comparison to what I thought they would be. But I think the aftermarket part is almost like a guaranteed thing that you want to work towards. You know, sometimes the events can be uh, yeah, very mid, whether it's a blueprint, whether it's a terrible camo, a lot of those things you will never try or just never wanted in the first place. Whereas an aftermarket part is always something new that you can use don't get me wrong it's not always good there's a lot of useless aftermarket parts but they are so unique to the point where it's something to look forward to i'm scared to run into the middle of the map just because of all the bouncing bays that this guy has laced everywhere oh my wait that was a clap 
Move your right shield away. That could have been... Bruh, that could have been insane. That guy ruined it. Wait, I got that kill? Wait. Never mind. Long story short, I really hope they keep up with these aftermarket parts because they are very unique and I love them. I always thought they should have brought back operator mods from Black Ops 4. I don't know why other Call of Duties didn't do that after that game did that. That was such a unique thing that Black Ops 4 had that we never really saw again. And I feel like this is their interpretation of the operator mod. The operator mods were so cool. When you think back to Black Ops 4, you remember... Yo, can I shoot? Thank you. When you think back to Black Ops 4, you remember a lot of those. The flashlight mod which took away people's aim assist they could definitely add something like that to this game as well which would annoy a lot of people but that would actually turn into a great aftermarket part wait this game is too close wait okay pick up these wait we're losing no no how did they just no way of course the bouncing betty is the final kill hey he won them that game mm. yo this guy just messaged me saying he watches my videos what's up bro you're in one <laughs> okay so i switched up the attachments i put on a red dot and also threw one okay my bad also threw one into stella too <laughs> oh bro that guy is trying his hardest and he's getting destroyed by this that shows how good it is no! Look at this guy. What are you doing? This one already broke and he put down another one. <laughs> anyway, that is enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. I think this has to be the best aftermarket part we have got yet in this game. Other than maybe the Haymaker one. The Haymaker one was great. Maybe in Warzone, the Haymaker one is way better than this, but strictly for multiplayer, I think this might take it. I don't know. This is completely unfair. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo Man. You guys can go check them out. Use in the link in the description there's a bunch of really nice stuff on there and my code brothers will get you an extra discount at checkout so go make use of that we have wazo mobile dropping tomorrow as i've already mentioned i'm going to be dropping a bunch of content on that so if you guys are excited for that make sure you stay tuned thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one